What's up, it's Annie Rose. Let's talk about iOS 14. If you're anything like me, then you're probably terrified to download it. I was so intimidated because everyone on TikTok has the nicest looking phones and their widgets were placed perfectly and I just didn't know how I was gonna be able to do it. I was like, I'm too scared. But I finally ended up downloading it and I realized that it's not as scary as it seems. So I wanted to make this video to be informative to you guys on how you can make your phone look amazing. This is also gonna be a what's on my iPhone and I'm gonna show you guys my favorite apps to use for editing my photos and socials and things that make my life way easier so if you guys are influencers or you just post a lot this video will be super helpful for you this is what my phone looks like right now. I decided to go with kind of like a muted color look. I thought that this was just really clean, really nice. It's kind of beiges and neutrals, but then there's also the pink and blues everywhere. I love it so much. This is my other side of my phone that has not been done yet, but here we go. Basically, if you tap on an app, you hold it down as if you were gonna like delete it or move it around or something. And up here, you'll notice that there's a little plus sign, which has never been there before. So if you click that, it'll say add widgets. You can either add Apple's widgets, which are just like clock and they're basically big versions of little apps. They're not that special looking. So if you want a more formal looking widget, then you can download something called Widgetsmith. This is not sponsored. Actually, this whole video isn't sponsored by anyone. Widgetsmith is super simple. Basically, it helps you create widgets. You can go in, you can customize colors, sizes, and all that type of stuff. So that way, when you're doing new widget, all you have to do is go to the Widgetsmith section on that little plus area. Then you can choose any one of the covers that you made for your widget, and you can kind of customize it, move it around however you want. I followed this photo. I found it on Pinterest. I pretty much made mine look almost exactly like hers because I loved it. That's another huge tip is go on to Pinterest and just type in iOS 14. You'll find so many different things. I've seen people do like neon lights and a black background, which looks really cool and like kind of retro. I've seen people do cartoon characters like SpongeBob. I've seen people do like all, all marble, all black and white. Once you've decorated some widgets from Widget Smith and you know what style you're going for, those are two very big steps. Then to actually change the cover of your regular apps to make it match your theme, this part is actually a little more complicated. So I looked it up online and it says the way to make your covers look different than how they usually do. Like the Instagram will have the Instagram logo, it'll have whatever you wanna put on it. You have to download this app called Shortcut. I ended up downloading three apps called Shortcut because there were so many. After some figuring it out, found out that this is the right one. It's the one with like the purple. I wrote out a list on how you do this because it might be a lot more simple to read it because that's what I did, I just found it online. Shortcuts. So we're gonna click New, Add Action, Scripting, Open App, Choose, then you're gonna pick which app you want to change. I'll do Heyday. Actually, no, I love Heyday. I don't wanna change how it looks, it's so cute. Let's try that again. Add action, open app, choose. Let's do IGTV, perfect. So then you're gonna click the little dots. You're gonna click IGTV, you gotta you know, have the name. Then you're gonna do add home screen. And then right here, you can just click choose photo. Now you can literally choose anything. You have to have a bunch of stuff screenshotted before all of this, cause it doesn't have like a custom color. You have to like have everything screenshotted and ready to go, which you can literally find on Pinterest. Let's say we're doing the marble. Then you're gonna name it again. Once that's named, you click add, click done. Then you go down to your phone and there's IGTV right there. Now. You can add it wherever you want. I know that there's a lot of steps and there's a lot of words and a lot of stuff in the way, but it's a lot more simple than it seems to be and you can make all your apps look so nice and color coordinated. I'm definitely gonna be finishing it over the few days because it is take like it takes a long time because there's just a lot of stuff. You have to find all the photos. It's a big ordeal, but I promise it's okay. Widget Smith is honestly amazing. There's so many different things. So I'm just gonna pretend like we're adding in a new widget. So you're just gonna go add medium widget, go here, and you get to do all these crazy things. There's so many different options. There's month, there's date, there's literally everything so I'm gonna do photo I think photo is the cutest then you choose photo and you can do like a photo of your friends I'm just gonna do this because it's kind of aesthetic that's kind of cool so that's really pretty find widget smith here find medium add and then you're gonna choose so I have four different widgets if I want it to look like the one that's on the front page which is like the time with the pink then I'll do number one but I'm pretty sure the one I just made is number four so now, there we go. And now that looks super, super cool. So as you can tell, there's so much that you can do. You can add any photo to make your phone look like any different style. These are my photography slash editing apps folder. I love all of these apps. So I'm gonna go through them and why I like them so much. PicMonkey, I've had this one forever. I'm pretty sure that we pay for the deluxe version, but the non-deluxe version is just as amazing. You can whiten teeth, whiten skin, blur out skin, blemish, cause let's be real, we all wanna edit our skin, but it's super, super natural. You can whiten your eyes. There's also a lot of other things you can do. Like you can make custom templates and they have little Instagram story sizes. So you don't have to worry if this is gonna be the right size for your Instagram story. Then they have lots of little graphics and fun stuff that you can add and 
in text and colors. You can design anything, you can edit any photo, and overall, it literally has everything. Like, you could stop here if you wanted. But Rainy Films is basically really aesthetic filters. They're kind of more of like the Tumblr girl. They more look like Lightroom presets, but they're not, and you don't have to pay for it. They're more natural filters. So I use these ones more regularly on my Instagram. Visco, I try to post on Visco every once in a while. My name is like Annie Rose or something, but that's not my favorite. But if the other apps just aren't doing it for me, then I'll go on a Visco and just see what they have. But I'm not really on there a whole lot, but it is nice. It's nice to have. Crop MOV, basically this crops any videos. Now the actual photos app like by Apple can crop videos, but it never used to be. So I, that's when I downloaded this. I remember always having like an IGTV video to post, but you could see all the black bars. So I had to like crop it and downloading a whole new app for that. It was annoying, but crop MOV is really simple. Next we have preview. Preview is also a filters app, but all your photos go into kind of a gallery looking thing. So if you're designing your Instagram feed, you can see what all of it's going to look like. You can also do the same on Visco, but I just find preview a lot more simple. To help my life with social media, I use Buffer. Buffer is basically a scheduling app. So you can schedule your Instagram posts to post this time Thursday next week. And then you don't have to worry about it. So if I ever have a day, I can take like a million photos, write out captions, and I can do all of my month worth of social media all right there. For social medias, I have TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And I also have Twitter, but I haven't gone on there in forever. So I should pretty much just delete it. But if you want to follow me on all those socials, um, I would not mind. Those are the apps I actually post regularly on. For life stuff because I'm a homeschooler. I have Zoom, of course. That's everyone's 2020 like most used app. Schoolology, which is the app that all my teachers and classmates meet on. Then I have Postmates. That's pretty cool. I have like DoorDash and I have Life360 and Google Maps. Random things like that. Then for my iOS 14 designs, of course, like I said, I have Shortcuts and Widgetsmith. For games, I have this game called Heyday, which is so much fun. I highly recommend that you get it because basically you create this farm, but it's not just a farming game. No, you can add friends and you can have neighbors, you can give them stuff. And once you get really invested in it, you and your friends go crazy. Like I literally have a group chat called Heyday with like five people on it. It's so much fun. And then all of our farms are in a neighborhood. So it's just the best. It's like a social app basically, but it's not. You guys might be surprised by this, but the other game I have is Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft is low key really fun. I totally recommend if you're ever sitting in like a doctor's office or something really boring You just don't want to be there Minecraft is the best because your brain starts to think and then you like it takes away your surroundings It's amazing For music I write music so I need lots of different music apps I have guitar tabs which basically has any famous pop song and the chords for it If I'm at a party and I want to learn how to play perfect by Ed and I just pull it up It's so simple and easy to use you don't have to pay for it Obviously, there's like an advanced version, but they have that with like every app then I have metro timer It's basically just metronome you can set it to whatever you want and it'll go da da then I have my two tuners. I have one for guitar and one for ukulele. The guitar is just called Guitar Tuna and my ukulele one is called Tune 4 Space Ukulele. Those are all my apps. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I definitely recommend downloading some of the apps that I mentioned because I love them so much. If you want me to make more videos like this, then totally let me know and I'll see y'all in my next video.